Okay, folks, Thursday, the 17th of November, 2022. And uh, we had a nice day yesterday. Some of the guys in the room taking a 1% slice of the downside in the NASDAQ, as you can see, uh, we're just going to pop over to that screen in a second. But really, equity's finding it hard to hold on to these kind of post uh, CPI and PPI uh, pushes to the upside. So NASDAQ, nice little short here for Chris. Lovely work yesterday, man, really nice trade. But as you can see on the daily bars, we got really targeting yesterday for downside 11.583s. Didn't really get it. The day, it wasn't really the day for it. Um, so I think today we may get that pushed. The market is going to come into PVO here, maybe find supports. And that is really the last hope for the NASDAQ before then we head lower for the 50 EMA at 11.574s in concert with at uh, the actually the november 11th 2020 low which is 11 583 half and i think you know in the in the short term over the course of the next couple of trading sessions if we have to trade there i think we're going to actually trade through the following day and um, i don't really think we need to reload bars here but let's see you know for now it is going to act as support all right that's the nasdaq um, I would be selling any bids against uh, the 11,794 is half and CBAH on NASDAQ. Uh, Spoo's also in a similar uh, jocker here to the downside. Um, we'll see here on the daily, very similar pattern on the, on the daily bars here on the Spoo's. Um, kind of coming into, see this low over here um, in what was the uh, stimulus Fed rally. Uh, low of the 15th of May 2021 and that's actually come in kind of is yesterday almost the high of day down we go uh, I do think we need to actually trade back up on this trend to reload on the bear rally to go down and that's going to come in around you know 4140s 4100s in around here uh, but until then you know how do we make money today Tim I hear you ask well that's going to be essentially looking at you know how can we access the shorts here or actually, you know, what, what's better? Actually, do we wait and look for longs around this 39.33s area here, right? And I think the latter is probably on the cards. But, you know, it's a long way between now and the US Open. So maybe you're going to get that pullback, maybe onto VWAP. Maybe it's going to be down, uh, you know, down here and then have to pull back on PVAL 39.67s and then head south. You know, lots of options on the table, but waiting is the best edge. Uh, so that's uh, the booze. We just put that back up here. And then oil. Yeah, you know, oil's been really tricky yesterday uh, coming into DOE, pretty much in line with the APIs on Tuesday night, about five uh, mil draw, uh, 5.4, I think it was on the draw. Uh, so, you know, we're holding supports on the 2009 low 8370s. And I think we, we can rally from here, but I've been short the PVAH here this morning, looking for PVAL to trade. And then let's, let's see, you know, let's see what happens. I think if we revisit the 09 low 8370s again, it's not going to hold. And we are going to come down to meet this trend here, uh, which is pretty much the COVID trend low, as you can see, um, the April 2020 low to uh, the December um, December 2nd uh, low in 2021 there. And uh, so, yeah, I think we're, we're just going to have to do that if we break this 09 low. And um, that's kind of it, really. Gold, it's still the worst trade in the entire universe, I think. And uh, Bitcoin is holding up reasonably well here on the spot rate. Um, uh, let's see, what can we see? Yeah, look, I think I'd be seller on 17,568. Buyer on 13920s and uh, on a breakdown on the PVAL 16445. So, probably be a seller on that pullback to come down. I don't think we have seen the worst of what's going to happen to the crypto assets in the crypto world as of yet. I think there's a lot more FTX uh, bad news to come. And of course, how can I go anywhere without mentioning cable? Big stuff today. Jeremy Hunt announcing his budget. Let's hope that the markets do not have a puke reaction as they did to Truss's mini budget and uh we're still awaiting timings on that news today but um you know we were looking at the the, the way this market lies today uh really I, i'd be really careful on this and probably you know i'd fade a couple of moves um on the on this uh, cable contract over the budget or probably best to trade tomorrow
seeing some dollar strength coming into the market now. It's positive 0.28 on the session. All right. So that's it for me for another pre-US session. I, uh, we are live uh, for the next 30 minutes on YouTube and we will be tomorrow for the EU session. So please do click to subscribe and get notified for when we go live in the morning, 8 a.m. GMT tomorrow. And otherwise, I'll see you in the Discord. All right, bye-bye.